right, DougWithBloggingPlay.com. Tonight, I'm at Las Vegas Ballpark in Las Vegas, Nevada. Kinda, but more on that to come. Let's head inside. address the elephant in the room. The Las Vegas ballpark, it's not really in Las Vegas. It's actually in Summerlin, which is a suburb of Las Vegas. Now you might be thinking, well, why didn't they build the park closer to the strip or closer downtown? Well, you know, a couple of reasons, quite honestly. You think about Las Vegas as a destination, it's a great destination for obviously gambling and shows, concerts, including, uh, you know, sporting events like the NHL, the NFL that are huge draws. Those absolutely need to be by the strip. And when the Oakland Athletics move there, probably pretty soon, it'll make sense for that to be by the Strip too. But minor league baseball is not a tourism draw. Uh, it's a draw for me. It's probably a draw for you if you're watching this video, but it's not a tourist draw. So because of that, minor league parks need to go where the people are, and that's the suburbs. So I'm out here in Summerlin. It uh, you know, shows nine miles from the Strip on Google, and then you get in your car and it's actually closer to 17. Now, here's something to keep in mind and why that's important. You're gonna pull up your Uber app from the Strip and it's gonna say it's gonna be about 35 bucks. And you're gonna go, oof, that's expensive. Uh, probably be cheaper to catch a cab. No, it is not. It was a, a $60 cab ride out here uh, before tip. Um, so yeah, this game's getting kind of expensive, especially by the time I get back to the Strip at night, which will undoubtedly be peak times because the Strip is gonna be vastly more interesting than Summerlin at 10 o'clock at night. So, you know, you look at just overall impressions of the park, it's a really nice park. You look at things like these lower seating areas, these seats, especially in this reserve section here, they're really wide, they're really comfortable, kind of springy, I'm all about it. Views inside the park, all very nice. Just know that if you're coming to Las Vegas and thinking it's gonna be easy or cheap to get to a minor league baseball game here, it's not. But if you love baseball, whether it's major leagues, minor leagues, definitely still make the trip. After all, I mean, 70 bucks to get here, 30, 50 bucks, whatever to get back, your tickets, you know, okay, it's a $100 night in Vegas. $100 night at the ballpark is probably still gonna be cheaper than wherever else you're gonna spend that 100 bucks in Vegas and probably more. So here's a quick tour of the park. Take a look.
as minor league parks go, I'm actually really surprised by the food selection here at Las Vegas Ballpark. So I picked up a brisket burrito and my mouth's gonna be watering this entire, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. I'm gonna talk about the food selection before I take this bite. It's gonna be torture. But outside of these outrageous looking burritos, I saw everything from chicken skewers, hamburgers, gourmet hot dogs, barbecue sandwiches. They have a slew of different choices throughout the park. And honestly, I could have stopped at any of the six uh, separate stands and probably been just as happy. But for this one, I went with a brisket burrito. It's got brisket, it's got uh, you know cheese, it's got rice, it has a cilantro coleslaw, uh, it has a spicy barbecue, as well as crispy potatoes in it. And uh, I made it almost a full minute. And now I'm gonna try it and I can't wait. That's good. Barbecue sauce isn't so much as spicy as it is tangy. Good balance with the coleslaw. Good flavor on the brisket. That one gets a nice thumbs up. Like I said though, honestly looking at the stands, I don't think you can go wrong with anything here with any of these stands. Just a ton of choices. Really impressed with the selection, especially for a minor league park. You don't see this kind of variety very often. As a whole, really nice park. I like the uh, the glass that you see along the top, the extra wide seats that I talked about earlier. You know, concourses are nice and wide. Good flow. You know, it uh, only real downside to this park, quite honestly, for tourists is the location. But if you live in the suburbs, which uh, most people that work on the strip do, this is a great night out, and, uh, and I expect to see some good uh, see some good traffic. So I'm gonna finish this. We'll talk later. So I don't do this very often, but I had to just come back on here one more time to just say, this burrito is delicious. Like, I probably could have done that for the Sonoran dog at spring training last week that is equally delicious, but damn, this burrito is really tasty. So back to your regularly scheduled programming. back from Las Vegas ballpark and thankfully it didn't cost me near as much as it did getting out there so I'll take it gives me a little more money to spend I don't know on the tables or betting on the Mariners to win the World Series uh, but regardless um, you know great park tons of uh, you know good food options definitely worth the stop and I should get points I made it through this whole video I didn't say Viva Las Vegas I didn't tell you that what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas or any of that cliche stuff just a straightforward ballpark review that I hope you enjoyed. So if you did, click subscribe. And uh, if you didn't, that's okay too. But either way, thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. I had to do one. Sorry.